Hey everyone, it's Sarah the Registered Nurse RN.com and in this video I'm going to be solving some pediatric safe dose range calculations. And as always, whenever you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will give you more dosage calculation practice. So let's get started. To help me solve these problems, I'm going to use various formulas. And the great thing about dosage calculations is that you can use several different methods to actually help you get that answer. And in my previous video, I used dimensional analysis to help me solve for this safe dose range. So let's take a look at our problem. This problem says that we have a child that weighs 60 pounds and they need this particular medication that has a safe dose range of 5 to 20 milligrams per kilogram per day that's divided every six hours. So it's saying for every kilogram that that patient weighs they need 5 milligrams on the minimum side to 20 milligrams on the maximum side per day. So that's the max dose I can have for that whole 24 hour period. And that needs to be divided every six hours. So always pay attention to how they're presenting that information so you don't get confused. And it wants us to solve for the minimum and the maximum safe dose range per dose. So it's not telling us to solve per day, it wants per dose. The very first thing what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to convert that weight. So if they give it to you in pounds, go ahead and put it in kilograms because that is how our safe dose range is giving us the medication. So we know from our metric table that one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So what we do is we take 60, which is the patient's weight in pounds, divide that by 2.2. When we divide that out, we get 27.27 repeating, and we're gonna round to the nearest tenth. So it's 27.3 kilograms is how much our patient weighs. I'm gonna go add that up here so we will know. Now let's go ahead and solve for the minimum and maximum dose. An easy formula you can use for this is you can take the child's weight in kilograms, so their kilogram weight, and you can multiply that first by the minimum dose, and that will give you your dose that they can have on the minimum side. Then, after you've done that, you can go back, use the same formula, and then put in the max dose and that will give you the max dose range. So let me plug it in so you can see how it looks. First, the minimum. So we have our patient's weight in kilograms. It's 27.3. Multiply that by the minimum, which was five milligrams per day. So write that out. And when we multiply that out, 27.3 times five, we get 136.5 milligrams per day. So that's the minimum amount that they can have per day. But our problem asked us per dose. So we have to do a little bit of thinking here. We know that in one day there's 24 hours. So this patient needs it every six hours. So how many doses are they getting? When we divide 24 by six, we get four. So the patient needs four doses per day. So what you're going to do, we need to divide this out over four doses because that would give it to them every six hours. So to just divide that number by four, and when we divide 136.5 divided by four, that gives us 34.125, and then we're going to round that to the nearest tenth. That gives us 34 point one milligrams per dose. So that is our minimum dose. So we're going to just put up here 34.1 milligrams per dose. Now let's solve for the maximum dose. So again we're just going to use this formula up here and we're going to put 27.3 because that's our weight in kilograms. Multiply that by 20 because that is the maximum side and that's milligrams per day. So whenever we multiply that out, we get 546 milligrams per day. And problem wants it per dose, so we're gonna divide that by four because that's how many doses they need. They need it every six hours. So whenever we divide that by four, 
we get 136.5 milligrams per dose. So that is our maximum amount that they can have per dose. And we are done solving our problem. This problem says we have a child who weighs 48 pounds and the physician has ordered a medication at 850 milligrams by mouth every eight hours. And this particular medication has a safe dose range of 100 to 300 milligrams per kilogram per day to be divided over every eight hours. So this problem wants to know, is this a safe dose ordered? So this order that the physician has given us, is it a safe amount for this child to have based on how much they weigh and based on the safe dose range? So the very first thing what we wanna do is we want to convert that weight from pounds to kilograms. We know that one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So we are going to take 48, divide that by 2.2. Whenever we do that, that gives us 21.81 repeating. We're gonna round to the nearest tenth. So our patient weighs 21.8 kilograms. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve for that minimum dose by using that formula we used earlier. So we're going to take the patient's weight, which was 21.8 kilograms. We're gonna multiply that by the minimum range that was given, which is 100 and it's 100 milligrams per day. Whenever we multiply that out, that gives us 2,180 milligrams per day. Okay, our problem says that this, needs, this daily dose needs to be divided over every eight hours. So our physician has given this to us in every eight hours as well. So we need to figure out, number one, how many doses is this? So we know that there's 24 hours in a day. We divide that by eight. How many does that give us? Eight, 24 divided by eight, that gives us three. So the patient's gonna have three total doses spaced out over every eight, eight hours. So we're gonna divide that by three. And when we divide that by three, that gives us 726.66 repeating, and we're gonna round to the nearest tenth. So we're gonna get 726.7 milligrams per dose. That is the minimum they can have per dose. This is the minimum they can have per day. Now, let's go and solve for our maximum amount that the patient can have. So again, we're just gonna use that formula. We're gonna take their weight in kilograms, 21.8, multiply that by the maximum range, which was 300 milligrams per day. And when we multiply that out, we get 6,540 milligrams per day. We're gonna divide that by three when we divide that out by three, that gives us 2,180 milligrams per dose. So that is the maximum they can have per dose. That's the maximum they can have per day. So we'll write that up there. Now, we're not done yet. We need to see if that amount that the physician has ordered falls within that safe dose range. So the physician ordered 850 milligrams by mouth every eight hours. Here we have 726.7 to 2,180, and that does fall between that. So yes, this is a safe dose for our patient. This problem says we have a child who weighs 48 pounds, and the physician has ordered a medication at 100 milligrams by mouth daily. And the safe dose range for this particular medication is 1,500 to 3,500 micrograms per kilogram per day. So right here, you can already see our safe dose range is in micrograms, but what was ordered was in milligrams. So that tells us we're gonna have to do some converting, which is a little bit different than our previous problems. And we need to solve for if this is a safe dose ordered by the physician. So the very first thing what we wanna do is we wanna convert that weight. So one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds, so 48 divided by 2.2, that gives us 21.81 repeating, we'll round to the nearest tip, that gives us 21.8 kilograms, that's how much our patient weighs. So 
Next, what we want to do is we want to go and we're going to solve for the minimum first. So we're going to use that formula we've been using and we're going to put in the patient's weight. So 21.8 multiplied by 1,500, that's the minimum amount. And that's micrograms per day. So micrograms per day. When we multiply that out, we get 32,700. That's micrograms per day. So we're in micrograms and we need to get to milligrams because the patient is getting this daily. So we're okay with the day. We don't need to do divide out with doses, but we need to get this to milligrams. So we know from the metric table that one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. So in order to convert that, you can do it one of two ways. You can either just divide that by a thousand, work that out, or you can do a simple math trick and move the decimal three places to the left because we're going from micrograms, which is smaller, to milligrams, which is a little bit bigger. So you can just take your decimal and go one, two, three, and you get 32.7 micro uh, milligrams per day. Or if you divide that out, you get the same exact answer. So that is our minimum dose, so 32.7 milligrams per day. Now let's look at our maximum. So we're gonna plug in, do the same steps, but we're gonna be using 3,500. So their weight, 21.8 multiplied by 3,500 micrograms per day. When we multiply that out, we get 76,300 micrograms per day. We need to get to milligrams, so we divide by a thousand, work that out, or you can just simply move that decimal. Decimal is here, it goes one, two, three. That gives us 76.3 milligrams per day. So 76.3 milligrams per day. We're not done just yet. We need to compare that with what was actually ordered by the physician. So the physician ordered 100 milligrams by mouth daily. Our range is 32.7 to 76.3 milligrams per day. So this exceeds what the patient can actually have. So is this a safe dose? The answer is no. This problem says we have a child that weighs 50 pounds and the doctor has ordered 150 milligrams IV every 12 hours. And for this particular medication, it has a safe dose range of two to 10 milligrams per kilogram per dose every 12 hours. Now, it wants us to solve for, is this a safe dose that's ordered by the physician? And if so, how many milliliters are we gonna administer based on what we're supplied with? And we're supplied with a vial that reads on it. For every two mLs that you draw up, there's 300 milligrams in it. So we have quite a few steps to go through. First, let's solve and convert that weight. So one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So 50 divided by 2.2, that gives us 22 0.72 repeating, we're gonna to round to the nearest tenth. So our weight is 22.7 kilograms. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna solve for that minimum dose. So we'll use that formula. So their weight is 22.7. Multiply that by the minimum range. That is two milligrams per dose. So when you multiply that out, you get 45.4 milligrams per dose. That is our minimum amount. Now let's solve for our maximum amount. Again, plug in that weight, 22.7 kilograms multiplied by 10 milligrams per dose. When we multiply that out, we get 227 milligrams per dose. So that is our maximum amount. Then we need to look and see if what's ordered falls within that range. 
What was ordered was 150 milligrams IV every 12 hours. So that falls within that range. So yes, this is a safe dose. So since it's a safe dose, we can proceed. Now we need to look at what we're supplied with. We're given this IV, we have a vial, we look at the medication label, it says that for every two mLs you're drawing up, you're giving 300 milligrams. Now there's a formula you can use for this, um, desired over have, I have a whole video on how to set this up, but this is what this equation, um, this formula looks like. It's um, what's desired, so what's ordered, over what you have on hand, you'll divide that into itself, you're going to multiply by the quantity, that's like the volume of how it's supplied, and that's going to give you what you need to administer. So let's plug it in and take a look at how it works itself out. So desired, this is what's desired for the patient to have, what's ordered. The physician has ordered 150 milligrams. What do we have on hand? What are we supplied with? We're supplied with 300 milligrams. And we're going to multiply that by the quantity. That's our volume. So that is related to this number here. It's two milliliters. Okay, so milligrams cancels out. When you divide 150 into 300, you get 0.5. You're going to multiply that by 2. So 0 0.5 times 2, that gives you 1. So you are going to be drawing up 1 milliliter to give to that patient to equal that dose that was ordered. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to solve pediatric safe dose ranges. And if you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.